everyone, it's Deanne from This Farm Girl Cooks. I know it's the middle of the day and a lot of you are probably working and getting things done, but uh, this time worked for me to pop on here and just show you one of the um, hacks, I guess you could call it, that I'm using this summer to help keep our fridge and our freezer stocked with food that keeps the kids healthy. Well, from being hungry, semi-healthy. Kid approved though. Um, and what I've been doing is, um, we started out the summer making um, a batch of Uncrustables and the little kids loved them and so do the big kids. So I've started to just make a batch of them every week and they're super easy. I can actually um, put them into the freezer. They thaw really quickly. They're much less um, expensive than the Smucker's store-bought um, Uncrustables. And I just thought I'd show you guys real quick how I make these. It's super easy. You probably have most of what you need in your kitchen. And my secret tool is actually available. Um, I got mine at the Dollar Tree, a dollar store. So um, I was just gonna show you how I put together ours and then I throw them in the freezer. So all I've got here is a regular loaf of bread and I'm gonna go ahead and take my camera and I'm gonna shift it down. Hopefully you guys can see. Um, okay, let me go back a little bit. Okay, so all I do is I've got my bread I've got my peanut butter and my jelly. And what I do, this is one of the things that helps them kind of look like an Uncrustable, and they also thaw quickly, is I actually roll the bread out just slightly with the rolling pin. Then, of course, I put on my peanut butter on one side and I don't put it all the way to the edges because it's gonna get cut off, so I kind of do it a little thicker in the center. And I realize there's a little bit of waste this way, but it's also how the kids like to eat them, so pick and choose the battles, I guess. Um, put some jelly on the other side. And this got popped up a little bit, but okay. Some jelly on the other side. Put a little thicker because it's gonna spread out. And then this is where my little tool comes in. So you can buy I love it, talking hands, do, 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 do. Um, anyway, this is where my um, tool comes in from the Dollar Tree. So you could buy a tool on Amazon, they're like $12.99 or something for a sandwich maker. What we're gonna use is a glass jar, it's a food prep jar from the Dollar Tree. And I put the sandwich together and just push it down a little bit and it seals, so it gets the seam like a regular Uncrustable has. And then I cut around it with a sharp knife. I discard the scraps, and then it just pops out. And you've got a little Uncrustable. And then I just put them into a sandwich baggie. So do any of you guys make Uncrustables at home? Um, or do your kids go through a ton of peanut butter and jelly? because it actually works really well. I don't use any kind of expensive bread, but if your kids eat whole wheat or um, gluten-free or whatever it is, um, you could totally make these and customize them with whatever you want. Um, so anyway, I'll just make another one just in case you're just joining. This is how I make our Uncrustables. And I do a loaf at a time. I just roll out the bread a little bit, not too thin, but enough to take some of the fluff out. And then again, just spread the peanut butter like that. I should do videos like this all the time. I would never have to do my hair. Um, let's see, okay, then jelly. This is actually homemade jelly, strawberry jelly. But we are on our last jars. I either need to go to the strawberry patch because now is the time or pick some up at the store. Okay. So there goes that. We're gonna do the magic with the little ramekin thing. Just push down, it seals it, and then I just cut around. So I had debated whether or not I should put an actual recipe together for homemade Uncrustables, but um, this one's sticking right there. But they do turn out really nice. They look like the real thing um, at first. My, our our four-year-old wasn't sure what to think, but now she loves them and she asks for mommy's Uncrustables. So I just throw them in a Ziploc bag and then I just put them in the freezer. So I'm working my way through this loaf of bread 
and I'll probably do another loaf next week, but it's super easy. It saves us a ton of money. And um, like I said, you can put whatever you want in them um, to customize them for your family. You could put almond butter or something else if you have sunflower butter, if you guys have allergies. So I hope this helps you tame some of the summer chaos. I know for you mamas out there and some of you grandmas too who might be watching kids um, or grandparents, I guess I should say, um, kids are always hungry in the summer. They're playing hard. So these help us keep some easy um, food options on hand for them all the time. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, if it was helpful for you, for, helpful to you, please share um, so that other people can see the tip too and um, stock their freezer with Uncrustables too. So enjoy your summer day. It's nice and sunny here in Northern Illinois. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.